Hello everyone. In this video, we present to you the topic end of study for obtaining a graduation license under the title Design and Production of Online Follower Mobile Robot 2, Implementation of the Zumo Robot Kit. It was worked on by Mjaji Ilham and Mjadi Rauda under supervision Dr. Rudwan Ayad. In this work, we touch on the design of a robot that avoids obstacles. At the same time, we will compare the Zumo kit with a handmade structure. As this robot has the advantage of avoiding obstacles, use distance sensor, Arduino, and other components connected to it. As for its structure, it is easier than Zumo kit physically and practically in terms of installation and study on how it works. At the same time, Zumo Shield is also good, but its price is high. And in the process of installing it, we can face a problem in wilding, where it can be burned at the level of the hand or door wrongly leading to burning component. Then we move on to realizing and simulating the circuit of the obstacle avoider robot. We start to design the circuit of the avoiding obstacle robot. So we need three ultrasonic sensors left front and right two dc motor right motor and left motor motor driver shield so we used here l 293 d motor driver arduino inu and breadboard and we need the cable to connect it this is all the material, so we turn to explain the code. In this part, we start by defining variables and constant. We use the anti command to define the integer and long to define the real number. We define the word direction in order to calculate the time wave length. length and distance to facilitate the process of calculating the distance using sensor. We also use constant to define the constant both left and right motor. In the right step part we define the input and output using the pin mode command so all motor and trick pin output equal pin input. We move the to the void loop, we start by writing a code to operate the sensor, so we use the law of calculating the distance where we multiply the time of the wave weather written by the speed of length, define the result by 2, and we get the distance, we start writing the condition for the robot. Uh, to work, we have six conditions that we will explain in the simulation part. Here we have the serial monitor when we uh, see the result. We start the simulation process. We take a safety distance of 20. First condition, when the three sensors are greater than 20, we notice the robot move forward. So we read in the serial monitor loading forward. Now we change the distance of the right sensor to make it less than 20. We observe the robot move left bend and read in the serial monitor left bend. The same when I change the distance of the left motor so the robot moves right bend and right in the monitor serial right band so we change all the distance of the three sensor to make it less than 20 we see the robot move in backward and in the serial monitor uh, we read drive driving back now we change the distance of the right sensor to make it greater than 20. We observe the robot turn right. We read in the serial monitor right rotation. 
Last one, we change the distance to the left sensor to make it greater than 20. We notice the robot turn left and we read left rotation. That is all the step in the simulation, so thank you for watching. Now we come to uploading the simulation in your reality. We start design where we need the tour shown in the video. At the first step we install the chassis of the world's car and the motor install. We need three ultrasonic sensor of distance and Arduino Inu breadboard and motor driver shell. To a motor driver shell we install the equipment step by step so that we install the pieces on the chassis using double side advising tape and then we connect it between the PS using connected wires as listed in the code and here we finish the general design of the robot we, st we install the USB cable we upload in the code of uh, to the Arduino board the robot ready for testing finally we install a 12 volt battery, the result and show in the video.